Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explore Medium. Uh, Medium is a software application for um, sculpting in virtual reality, some assets, some 3D models. Medium is uh, an application by Adobe. In the Adobe Suite, I don't know how much familiar you are with uh, the latest news uh, on Adobe. Basically, recently, uh, they acquired Substance, which was uh, specialized in 3D modeling, texturing, sculpting, painting, these kind of services. And right now, all the Substance Suite is inside the Adobe Suite. So it's part of the software application by Adobe. Each purpose, each use case is a dedicated software app. And for sculpting in virtual reality, we have Medium, this software over here. As I mentioned with Medium, you can uh, sculpt uh, some 3D models. So you can do sculpting. Uh, as you can see here, okay, this is very advanced. <laughs> this is the result of many hours of work. And uh, this is for a pro, <laughs> pretty much. But um, you can have simpler shapes if you are a beginner using the tool. And uh, you can use a virtual reality headset like Oculus Rift or Oculus Quest to visualize it in VR and to edit the 3D model in VR. You can find the link on um, this website in the description of this video, so check it out. So basically here it pretty much tells itself uh, you have a VR headset, in my case I have the, the, the Quest 2 here and we're going to try that with the Quest 2. And this is what uh, you visualize. You can import a 3D model you have or you can start from scratch and building shapes. For this video we will just start from scratch with a very simple shape and we will see the tools of um, Adobe Medium. See, here is what I mentioned. So Adobe Substance is the entire suite provided by Adobe. So you have uh, Substance 3D Modeler for creating 3D models. Uh, you have Substance 3D Sampler to create a 3D model from uh, some photos. You have some Substance 3D Designer. Uh, you can basically take a texture and uh, instead of having a small sample, you will have an entire pattern. You can have Substance 3D Painter to paint 3D models, Stager to create uh, 3D renderings, uh, and so on. This video is not for focusing on Substance, but you should know that this is part of it. I will do a dedicated video for, for Substance. Right now, we are just exploring Medium. So as you can see here, you can um, perform some 3D sculpting. So let's go right into it. Uh, you will have to basically uh, open Oculus Quest, uh, the application if you have Oculus Quest, and uh, you have to look for Medium, and then you start the application. Okay, here it is. I will put it full screen. So in here you have you are in the three-dimensional space. It's empty, you have your hands here, and there are some commands. As you can see here, I will use this uh, tool as a pointer. Uh, here you can access this menu by um, pressing the wheel over here. So if you move the wheel up, you will find all the tools you have for example, painting, clay, uh, move, swirl, flatten as a face, cut as a face, inflate, smooth, um, and we already say paint. So these are tools, and you have to move the wheel over here up. Uh, on the left and on the right, if you move it on the left and on the right, you will undo or move forward to your last, last action. If you press it down, instead, you will see the entire hierarchy. You have the scene graph. If you use Blender, that's similar to what you have in the hierarchy in Blender. And in the scene graph, you can see the entire hierarchy of all, all the objects that are in your three-dimensional space. For example, I have a camera over here, this one yellow over here, and I can hide it if I click here or show it. I have a light 
which is the one over here. I can hide it or show, show it. I have a layer already. You have multiple layers, similar to what you have in Blender or in an, another 3D modeling uh, software. You can rename them, you can lock them, uh, you can select them here. If you want to, for example, manipulate them, to translate them, or to rotate them, or to scale it. For example, I want uh, to create um, something, so I will just go back and I will press the, the red button and the yellow one. If you keep it pressed, it basically creates a shape. See, I will undo one second and I will do it again. So this button over here and this yellow, you keep them both pressed and it will create uh, a sphere. You can, or this is a, okay, sorry. This is a sphere because I was, uh, I was not moving. I was not moving my hand, but if you keep it pressed and move your hand, then you will have a more complicated shape. Be mindful that this is the same object. It's not two separate objects, despite they look separate. Now we are going back, so we are going to move the wheel over here on the left to undo what we did here, and we will just focus on this. So in here, what we can do with this one is to color it, for example. So we can go up to the tools, select paint, and then with the right uh, hand, Select here, the button here is for the, um, the one, okay, sorry. The one over here is for the coloring. You can select the color you want. For example, I want this one. Then you close the menu. And if you press the same button, so that the one red, you will be able to color the entire surface. Now we go back to the tools and we select inflate because we want this to be bigger and again we press the same okay we we can move this closer to us if we press both the red one and the yellow one we move it closer and then uh, we can press only the red to inflate this So I want to do something like a spiral here, some kind of model, modern sculpture. You can do, of course, whatever you want. And then we can use another tool. For example, here we can say, okay, we want to swirl. And we select here. Oops, I did it too much. And we can adjust the edges. Okay, too much. Here you need some practice, of course. And here. See, you can uh, do whatever you want here to make it look like you want. Then we can go back to the tools again and we can select smooth and we are going to smooth all this area over here. Because it looks a little bit uh, dark in some spots. See, now it's smoother. You can also select flatten, flatten, and you can, for example, flatten some parts of the surface. I want to smooth the front, for example. And you can cut it, but I'm not gonna cut it, or you can clay. So clay is for adding a surface, for example, here. You can add another one. Uh, 
Uh, in this case, this was just an example. I will go back here. Another thing you can do is move. So you press apart and then you move it, which means that you move a little part of your uh, 3D model. Like this. So I'm, I'm adding some spikes here. Okay, and these are the basic functionalities for uh, sculpting. You can add new layers as well. You can mirror surface. You can add snaps. If you click here uh, on the settings, this button green over here, you can select, for example, based on the tools you selected here, you can select the, the brush size, uh, the strength, the shape, the, the radius, uh, this change according to the to what you selected. Then we have also this menu over here in yellow. And if you press it, you can click on a file. You can create a new file. You can save it. You can save whatever you did. You can export it. Um, you can take a photo, a uh, capture. You can share it. Um, so there are many options here. And for exporting it here, uh, you can select an FBX or an OBJ, and uh, you can select the presets, the triangles, um, um, if you want it more um, detailed or not, uh, the painting, if you want textures and UVs as well, and then you click on export. So this was a quick demo of Medium. Uh, you can try it yourself. You can find the link in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it.